If y'all didn't hear that, he said, I thought there was going to be walk-up music. So the first question... My first question is, what walk-up music would you choose? Uh, start me up. Rolling Stones? Yeah. Okay, so let's be clear. Don't upstage me up here. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Just Dakota. And now, your sister calls you Donald. Yes. We could call you Chandler? Sure. Okay. This is Donald Chandler, Chandler Donald. I'm not sure which comes first. So we're this is the, here. There you go. This is the Gerlach family, so we're glad that y'all are up here. <laughs> Help me out. How long have y'all been at St. Phillips? Five years. Six years. Six years? Okay. Mm -hmm. Six years is a long time. And from where y'all live, I looked it up on the map, there are about 7,000 churches between there and here. Hey, we chose the best. Amen. Yeah. So tell us why y'all stayed. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I really, we did talk good about try, this. <laughs> good, good, good try, good try. No, we started uh, coming here because of the preschool, and um, Luke, our oldest, was actually, um, it was pre-K-3 that we were looking to find something. And small world, my stepmother was Autumn's babysitter. And she goes, I have a great uh, preschool I want you guys to try. And um, we found the preschool, and Chandler growing up Episcopal, he thought, you know, we are looking for a church. Why don't we start looking at coming here. And uh, I grew up Southern Baptist, so you can imagine <laughs> I was a little um, hesitant. So I appreciate your honesty. We are down with Southern Baptist. That's totally okay. So thank you. And, and any other random children that want to walk up here? This is good. <laughs> this is our son, by the way. <laughs> so let me kind of get more pointed with this. So you've been here for six years. Wow. How has life here, worship here, being in this parish here, you know, made y'all more and more like Jesus? How has this been uh, a discipling uh, activity in your life and in your family? Yeah, so if you don't mind, I'll... Okay. Um, we, it started off really slow. Um, it was just our boys going to preschool and... Eventually, we started um, getting more involved. I do a lot of work with the children's ministry, and I work with Jill. And it slowly just became um, my heart. Just I love working with children, and I love sharing the Word of God. And through that, it, I mean, for both of us, just continu continuously to grow and serve, whether it was um, through different ministries, through the preschool um, we just wanted to continue to do that and help other families. Thank you. So let's put, uh, yeah, let's let's put Chandler on the spot. Yeah. All right, let's so why then is it that y'all as a family have made a decision to make a financial gift to St. Phelps? Why are you going to make an estimate of giving this year? Well, so the truth is, um, <laughs> we like the tr we're pretty down with the truth here as well. Uh, I, I think it, for me anyway, and we've talked about this a lot, it's an important decision that we've made to be stewards with the gifts from God. And to us, that means a lot of different things, but tithing in particular is our trust in, in you and this church and doing the right thing for our community and for uh, the parish. So it's frankly comes down to a, a trust factor. Excellent. We appreciate that. Yeah. Did you have anything you wanted to add to that one, or are you going to say ditto? Or are you going to sing us another Rolling Stones song? Oh, no, no. You guys don't want to hear me sing. No, but I also, off of that, I wanted to say a lot of times when you hear people talk about money, um, and something I even said to you in our meeting was, I would just turn it off. I didn't want to hear about money because growing up, I heard, okay, this is what you have to do. And it was not something I wanted to hear. <laughs> And that was very selfish of me, and that was very um, my perception of what it really meant to be a servant of God. Um, after we decided to give, it was like, I, I don't know, not to sound cliche, but it, the light just came on, and my heart just opened up, and the way that I saw giving, and the way that I 
truly wanted to give and Chandler truly wanted to give, it was about giving with our entire heart mm -hmm. and what it meant to serve. And if you don't mind, I, I looked up a verse and I wanted just to share. She's asking if I mind if she's going to read a Bible verse. <laughs> Rhetorical question. Okay, Rachel. but in 2 Corinthians 9, 7, it says, each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And I just love that verse. It's something that stays with us when we give. And I just wanted to share with you. Thank you. So it's all, always good to be upstaged by a comedian and a preacher. So let's give him a hand, y'all.